Hello students, in this video we are going to learn how to find the square roots of numbers by long division method. So these are the numbers on which we are going to apply the long division method. And the first three numbers are the perfect squares of which you will have the answers in the whole number. And the last two numbers are the non-perfect squares of which you will get the answers in the decimal number. For example, uh, 16 is a perfect square. So the root of 16 is equal to 4. The answer what you get is in the uh, whole number. This is the whole number. Uh, next example is 25. Uh, 25 is a perfect square. So the root of 25 is equal to 5, which is also a whole number. But suppose if we take 28, which is not a no, perfect square, it is a, uh, yeah, which is not a perfect square. So if we take the root of the non perfect square number, then the answer what we get is in the decimal. So that's what I meant. The first three numbers are perfect squares of which you'll have the answers in whole numbers. And the last two numbers, you'll have the answer in the decimal number. So we'll do one by one. Uh, so let us pick the first one that is 3, 2, 4, 9. So first and foremost, what you have to do is you have to put the line like this and then you have to write the number here that is 3, 2, 4, 9. And the first step here is what you have to do is you have to start by pairing the number from right hand side. So this is the one pair. Okay, so this is the one pair and this is the another pair. Sometimes what you'll have is uh, you'll not have the complete pairs like that. I'll show you here. Uh, that is sometimes you'll have one pair always start pairing from the right hand side but here you are not having a complete pair so you have to leave it like that why you can leave it like that but right side we are having one pair okay for uh, for this example we are pairing from the right hand side that is 29 and 52 is another pair 73 is another pair and two we are going to leave it like that yeah without pair and for this example 49 is one pair 12 is another pair and 5, we are not having any pair for it. So this is how we are pairing. For, uh, the first thing what you have to do is, you have to pair it from the right hand side. So now we are having two pairs here. And here we will be dealing with the pairs. Okay. So for 32, we have to search uh, the perfect squares which is near to 32. Okay. The perfect square. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. Uh, like that. We have to search a number near to 32. Uh, for example, 5 times 5 is 25 and 6 times 6 is 36. Uh, 36 is a perfect square, but we cannot take 36 because it is greater than 32. So the perfect number will be, which will work for us is 25. That is 5 times 5 is 25, which is lesser than 32 and nearest to 32. So 5 times 5 is 32. After that, this number, you always have to add it here. You always have to add it here. That is 5 plus 5 is 10. You add the number here and this side, you will subtract the number. That is 32 minus 25 is 7. Get down 49. From the next step onwards, how you are going to find the numbers is, see here students, you are having the number 10 here. So I'll take few now a few 10 numbers here okay few 10 numbers here and what I'll do is uh, you have to start pairing it like 101 times 1 uh, like write the 10 few times and then you can write it like 1 times 1 2 times 2 3 times 3 4 times 4 5 times 5 like that so so from next time next step onwards okay from in the first step you have to go for these kind of numbers and from next step onwards you have to choose these kind of numbers i hope i'm clear that is 101 times 1 is 101 so you have to uh, choose such kind of number which will be nearest to 749 or which will be equal to 749 uh, so i'll go for 105 times 5 that is 525 106 times 6 that is 636 still lesser than uh, 749 so I'll go for the next number again that is 107 times 7 that is 749 here you go 107 times 7 is 749 and you subtract here 749 minus 749 and what you get is 0 so what is the root of 3 uh, 3249 the root of 3249 is 57
But suppose if you had to continue the problem, then this 7 you would have added here. Okay, but now that is not needed. Uh, that is the end to the problem. So 57 root of 3249 is 57. I hope it is clear students. Next question. Next second one that is root of 529. So what you have to do first write 529 here under the lines and then first what you have to do you have to pair the numbers from the right hand side. You have to pair the numbers from the right hand side. We are not having the pair here. So we are leaving the 5 without the pair. So now the first step is you have to find a perfect square which is near to the 5. Which is near to 5. So let us search the number which is near to 5. 1 times 1 is 1. 2 times 2 is 4. 3 times 3 is 9. So 9 is greater than 5. So we cannot choose 9. So we have to go for 2 times 2 is equals to 4. Correct. So 2 times 2 is 4 and then what you have to do you have to add this 2 here and then subtract 4 from 5 that is 5 minus 4 is 1 and from the next step I told you you have the 4 here that you take the 4 here okay you take the 4 I'll write uh, 2 3 times then what I'll do is I'll pair I'll start pairing like 1 times 1 2 times 2, 3 times 3, 4 times 4 and so on. So that it will be like 41 times 1 is equals to 41, 42 times 2 is equals to 84, 43 times 3 is equals to 129. Here you go, you get 129 here. So this number works for us. So here 43 times 3 is 129. So 129 minus 129 is 0. So we need not further add this 3 here. If suppose, if suppose we, uh, we didn't get the 0 here and we had to continue the problem, then we would add this 3 here and then we would continue the problem. But here as we get the remainder 0 and we get the answer 23, so root of 529 is 23. So 23 times 23 will be 529. As simple as that, isn't it? So we'll uh, see the next problem. Third one, 273529. So we'll write it here, 273529. And what we'll do is we'll, we'll start pairing from the right hand side. First pair, second pair, and third pair. So we are getting three pairs now. So here is the first number is 27. So we have to check out which number, which perfect square is nearest to 27 or equal to 27. Uh, so 27 is, uh, where is 27? Uh, there is no 27 but 25 is nearest to 27. Uh, we cannot say, uh, take 36 because uh, 36 is larger than uh, 27. So what we have to do is we have to take 25. So 5 times 5 is 25. 5 times 5 is 25. And what you have to do? You have to add this 5 here. That is 5 plus 5 is 10. And 27 minus 25 is 2. Next taking 35 down which is in pair we have to take 35 down and now uh, as you can see there is 10 here we'll take 10 and we'll start pairing from 1 times 1 2 times 2 3 times 3 so that we can get 101 times 1 is equal to 101 so 1 not 2 times 2 is equal to 2 not 4 1 not 3 times 3 is equal to 3 not 9 so this number is greater so this number will work for us that is 102 times 2. So what we do 102 times 2 is 204 and not forgetting 2 we have to add it here. So 102 times 2 is 104 and 235 minus 204 is equals to 31. Isn't it 35 minus 4 is 31. And next, what we are doing, we are getting this 29 down. Correct. So what we have now here, this side we have 104. So what we do, we pick 104 here, 104. And we start pairing from 100, uh, 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3. So that we get 104, 1 times 1. 104, 2 times 2 is equals to 2048. 1043 times 3 is equal to 3129. Yeah, here we go. We get a 
exact number that is 3129. So what do we do? 104 is already here. So what do we do? 3 times 3. That is 1043 times 3 is equals to 3129. And what do we get here? We get this, um, when we subtract this, we get 0 as the answer. So this is the, um, so this is the answer and this is the remainder. So what is the root of 273529? That is 523. Next question. Uh, next, root of 156. Let us take 156 here and then let us start grouping from the right hand side. That is, this is the first group and this is the second group. The second group is without the pair but we have to leave as it is. So what we have here in the first term is 1. Uh, so we have to check out which perfect square comes near to 1 or lesser than 1. So 1 times 1 is equals to 1. So we will choose that 1 times 1 is equals to 1. And not forgetting 1 we have to add here. That is 1 times 1 it will be 2. And 1 minus 1 will be 0. And what I have to do next? Next I have to get this 56 down. As we have 2 here we have to search such a number. I'll take 2 this side. And I'll start pairing like 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3 times 3 such that it looks like 21 times 1, 22 times 2, 23 times 3. And I have to search a number which is nearest to 56. So which number here is nearest to 56 and smaller than 56? So it is 44. So I'll go with this 22 times 2. So here 22 times 2 is 44. And not forgetting 2 I have to add here. So 22 plus 2 is 24 and 56 minus 44 is 12. Now the 12 is lesser than 24. Here division is not possible because the number here that is 12 is lesser than 24. So what do we do next is we take a point here and we put two zeros here. Now why two zeros? Not Why not one zero? Because here we are dealing in the pairs. Isn't it? So we have to take zeros in pairs. Okay. So whenever you take zeros, you have to take the zeros in pairs after you put the point. Okay. So now what do we have? We have 1200 here. That is 1200. Now let us search for the number which is uh, nearest to 1200. Here we have 24. So we'll take 24 here. Um, and let us check the uh, numbers. Let us start pairing the numbers. 1 times 1, 2 times 2. Four. Uh, I mean uh, this number 1200 is uh, quite a bigger number. So uh, 2000, uh, 241 times 1 is equal to 241. 242 times 2 is equal to four, uh, 484. Yes. And then so as is a bigger number, I will jump for some bigger number. Let, it, let me try the bigger number. That is 244 times 4 is 976. And 245 times 5 is 1, 2, 2, 5. Uh, so 1225 is larger than 1200. So I'll have to go with this number. Isn't it? So I'll choose this number that is 244 times 4. 244 times 4 is 976. And I'll add this 4 here that is 244 plus 4 is 248 and I'll subtract this here that is 1200 minus 976 that gives you 224. Now again 224 is lesser than 248. So what I'll have, what I'll have to do is you already have taken point here so you can put extra two zeros here. Okay you already have taken point and this number is lesser than 248 here. So what you have to do is you have to take two more zeros again. Yeah. So now we have 248 already. We have 248 here. Now let us start pairing 1 times 1, 2 times 2, 3, uh, three times 3 like that. And let, let us check which number do we get uh, uh, nearest to 22400. 2481 times 1 is 2481. 2482.0. Times 2 is 4964. Uh, as this is a quite bigger number, so I'll jump for some bigger numbers. That is 248 times 8 is equals to 19904. 2489 times 9 is equals to uh, 22401. Um, this number is larger than this number, isn't it? So I'll have to choose this number. So I'll go with uh, this number that is 248 times 8 is equals to 19904. Uh, 
so i'll stop till here in exam you might uh, they might ask you like uh, to find the root of 156 up to two decimal place if they ask you till two decimal place then you can find till here if they ask you till one decimal place then you can stop it till four and if they ask you to find the root of 156 till uh, three decimal places then you have to uh, continue one more time uh, you have to get one more number here following the same method but i'm stopping it here because the number is getting way too big Uh, so this is enough if they don't ask you if they don't mention anything in the question paper if they ask you just to find the uh, root of a number then you can stop up uh, until two decimal places that will be more than enough okay so let us try the fifth one fifth one you can try on yourself you can pause the screen and you can try doing yourself next root of 7956 let us take 7956 here okay and let us start grouping from the right hand side in the pairs so we get two perfect pairs here uh, and now we have 79 first term what we have is first number we have is 79 so we have to go here and check uh, which number is uh, nearest to 79 uh, which number is uh, nearest to 79 uh, it is uh, yeah 64 81 will be greater than 79 so we cannot go for 81 so we have to go for 8 times 8 that is equal to 64 So eight times eight is equals to sixty-four, and not forgetting eight, we have to add it here. Seventy-nine minus sixty-four is fifteen, isn't it? And eight plus eight is sixteen. Seventy-nine minus sixty-four is fifteen. So I'll take this fifty-six down. Uh, so after this, we have sixteen here. We'll go here. We'll write sixteen. And we'll start pairing from as this is quite a big number. One sixty one times one will be very less. That is one sixty one, as it is one thousand five hundred fifty six. So we have to go for some bigger number. So I'll directly jump to some bigger number. That is one sixty six times six gives me nine ninety six. Uh, okay, I'll go for some bigger number. One sixty eight times eight. I'll try. That is equals to one three four four. Uh, still, we are not getting the number. This is quite less, so we'll go for the next number. That is one sixty nine times nine. Uh, that is one five two one. Yeah, here you go. This is the nearest number to one five five six. So I'll choose one sixty nine times nine. So already we have sixteen here. One sixty nine times nine is one five two one. And I'll add this nine here. So one sixty nine plus nine is one seventy eight. And now I'll subtract this here. What I'll get is 35. And now 35 is smaller than 176. So what do we do now? We go here, we put a point, and we take zero in pairs. We take two zeros, isn't it? Next, we have 178 here. From here, we have 178. Let us try some numbers. Uh, I'll start pairing from one times one, two times two. Uh, so what do we what do, what do I get is one seventy eight times one is one seven eight one one seven eight two times two is three five six four. So three five six four is a greater number. Uh, so I'll have to go with this one seven eight one. That is one seven eight one times one gives you one seven eight one. Yeah, obviously. <laughs> uh, and this one I'll add it here. And one seven eight one plus one is one seven eight two. And after I subtract, I get one seven one nine. So I'm getting bigger number here. Uh, this is getting quite big. Uh, so I'll stop here. That is eighty nine point one. I'll stop till here. Uh, so the root of seven nine five six is eighty nine point one. I hope it is clear for you students if you have any questions you can ask me in the comments and if you like this video please like the hit the like button and subscribe to my channel thank you